All right, Slack Master fans, it's time for John Waters' Mondo Trasho. Let's check it out. All right, our movie starts with some chickens. Being butchered. All right, Mary Vivian Pierce plays the blonde bombshell. There's really no dialogue in this movie. It's just a silent film with 50s and 60s music playing over it. Here she is on the bus reading in Hollywood Babylon. She gets off the bus to stop at a park and somebody is sneaking up on her. I think she's feeding crumbs to the bugs? I don't know. Or is that meat? It looks like it's ground meat. Anyway, that guy was sneaking up on her eventually catches her, brings her out into the field there, and just starts licking her toes, which she's perfectly willing to accept. While this guy continues to lick her toes, she is fantasizing that she's Cinderella. Miss Cinderella gets her dress ripped off. An odd fantasy, to be sure. And the prince with the slipper. The ruby slipper. Glass slipper. And anyway, we're then introduced to Divine. Anyway, while Divine was looking at a naked man, or what she thought was a naked man, she wasn't paying attention, and she hits our bombshell. So what do you do with a dead body? You drag it to your car. And then you just drive around with the corpse. And then she goes shopping. Or pilfering. Later on she finds somebody on the street. Don't think she's dead. Maybe she is, I don't know. Regardless, she's taking her shoes. Now, I'm not sure where she's taking her here, but she's stripping her clothes off now. Maybe she's going to take the clothes. Anyway, throughout this movie, Divine keeps seeing images of the Mother Mary, Virgin Mary. She's still pushing the bombshell's body around. This time in a wheelchair. Now I think someone's stealing her car. And now she gets captured. And I think she's taken to the nut house. Actually, both of them are. Where after a strip show from one of the other patients, she again sees the vision of Mary. So she eventually gets out of there, both of them do, and she takes the body down to this doctor, I believe his name is Dr. Coathanger. I believe the actor is David Lockery. You might remember him from Pink Flamingos. So he proceeds to uh, cut off her feet.
and our nurse is puking. And Dr. Coatanger is going to put new feet on her, different feet. Must have had quite an effect on her. There's her feet, and now she wakes up. That's her feet. And then there's just a lot of chaos. And then Divine is stabbed in the belly. Nonetheless, she's able to escape with the bombshell. They get out of there. I'm not exactly sure what's happening here. There's like pig sounds. Mary shows up again and Divine acting like a pig rolling around on the dirt. Basically, I don't know, collapses. Dies, passes out, I don't know. Leaving our blonde bombshell to wander the streets with her new feet. That's pretty much how our movie ends. All right, let's talk about Mondo Trash. Or just what kind of messed up movie is this? I don't know. It's a John Waters film. I was aware of this movie when I was in high school. I never saw it maybe until, oh, very late 80s, early 90s. I didn't know what to make of it then. I was never really over, overly impressed with this movie, and I'm still not. It's a very loud movie. Um, it's basically like the first uh, full-length picture John Waters uh, directed. I think he's on record saying he's not a real huge fan of this movie, and he wished he would have made it more of a short film as opposed to a full-length feature, but... Whatever, it's done. It's basically a silent movie, except instead of dialogue, they have um, a, a music soundtrack playing over it, mostly 50s and 60s stuff, although I did hear something from uh, The Wizard of Oz in there, too. Um, yeah, it's basically uh, just one loud soundtrack throughout. And with the plot of this movie, if there is a plot, um, we have this uh, blonde woman uh, played by, uh, what's her name, Mary Vivian Pierce, I think, um, she is uh, reading a book in the woods, and then all of a sudden this guy sneaks up on her, starts licking her feet, sucking her toes, um, and then she's fantasizing because she's enjoying it. She thinks she's Cinderella. Later on, she gets hit by a car driven by Divine. Divine was looking at this guy standing on the side of the road and envisioning him to be naked, which he actually was naked in, in real life, but she was just envisioning it in her head. But she doesn't pay attention, and she ran over uh, 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 the bombshell. And then she takes the body, puts it in her car, and drives around with it, goes shopping, pushes it around in a wheelchair. Eventually, she gets uh, taken to a nut house. Um, and then uh, at one point, she gets out of there, and then she ends up in this doctor's office, Dr. Coat Hanger. And uh, the doctor cuts off uh, her feet, uh, Mary and Vivian Pierce's feet, the bombshell's feet, and um, puts new feet on her, these bird feet or something like that. Um, and then uh, the movie ends with the vine. And, and the bombshell escaping, and they end up in a field somewhere in the mud, and she keeps seeing these visions of Mother Mary all over the place, then she collapses in the mud, and I guess she died, I don't know, and the next thing, the last thing you see is the bombshell walking on the street, and there's these old ladies making fun of her, calling her names and stuff, and that's it. Again, I don't know what to make of this film. Like I said, it's very loud, uh, obnoxious. Uh, I wasn't overly entertained by it, but it's you start to see some of John Waters' uh, stuff in it. You can definitely tell it's him. Uh, they were butchering chickens in the beginning of the movie. Not the last time he ever killed a chicken on film. Um, cast of characters. Just an odd, 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 odd film. 
Never been released on DVD. It was only released on VHS. Now, Waters has said that it would cost at least a million dollars to get the music rights uh, to ever release this, so it's just not worth it. Although a million dollars doesn't seem like a lot of money if somebody really wanted to pony up. But anyway, um, it was released on VHS. Uh, I have that VHS tape. I inherited it. Um, I did not make this. I ended up buying this like this. It's obviously DVD-R. Um, and I burned my own copy into it as well, uh, just in case it's better than this one was. Um, I'm just curious, though, if it was so hard to get the music rights, how were they able to get it to be released on VHS, but not DVD? What's the big difference? I don't know. But anyway, that's that's the story. So that's why it probably won't be on DVD anytime ever. Waters has said it will never be released on DVD because of that reason. So, But who knows? Multiple Maniacs made it on Blu-ray, and so did Pink Flamingos. So... That's it, Mondo Trasho. It's available on VHS. Uh, maybe it's floating around on, on streaming somewhere. I don't know. I will leave you a link to it down below on Amazon if you're looking to buy it. And you definitely should check it out. It's definitely uh, worth seeing as uh, basically the beginning of um, Waters' uh, full-length features. So check it out. Leave some comments. You know what you think about Mondo Trasho. Watch it. Bye.